Cigarettes are terrible for your health. There are literally thousands of chemicals released when you light up a cigarette, and those chemicals lead to devastating consequences for your health. Simply put, if you start smoking, you will experience bad things. This isn't a secret or news to anyone. But what if we flip the scenario? What if, instead of picking up cigarettes, you quit smoking? Would you experience any consequences then? If so, what would those look like, and how long would it take for you to feel them? The short answer is yes, you absolutely feel different after you quit smoking. Now, as far as what those changes are, that depends on a few things. For example, how long you smoked for can determine just how different your breathing may be. This makes sense as smoking does more damage over time. So, let's look at a timeline of life after quitting cigarettes. There's no sugarcoating it. At first, quitting smoking leads to some unpleasant consequences. For anyone who has tried to quit before, this will come as no surprise. Within just a few hours, you'll begin to experience cravings for nicotine. If you don't cave and light up a cigarette, you may start to become irritable. It's possible that your peers will notice this change more so than yourself. This change has a pretty simple scientific explanation. When you smoke, you experience higher dopamine levels than normal. By removing the added dopamine that you've been so accustomed to, you become more susceptible to mood changes until your brain chemistry balances. But underneath the irritable exterior are a few positive changes. If you make it through one day of no smoking, your bloodstream begins to become cleansed of carbon monoxide that you inhaled while smoking. This is good news, because that added carbon monoxide can lead to increased blood pressure, blood clots, and even heart attacks. After three days, your ability to taste and smell things will be improved as the damaged nerves responsible for carrying these signals begin to heal. If you can stick it out for an entire month, you'll start finding it easier to breathe. Your lung capacity will increase, and you won't be coughing as much because your body has been actively working to remove extra toxins from last month's cigarettes. You may not be ready to sprint a marathon yet, but you're much closer than you were a month ago. Over the next several months, your body will experience gradual but important changes. Your blood pressure will continue to get better, and your breathing will become significantly less labored. You'll even find yourself having more energy as your heart becomes healthier. You may not feel these changes as they occur slowly over time, but when you compare yourself at this point to your body several months ago, you'll absolutely notice a difference, even in simple tasks like walking up and down the stairs. After going an entire year without smoking, your chances of experiencing coronary heart disease decrease by half, and that decline doesn't stop there. Lasting five years cigarette-free is no small task for an addict, but it comes with significant rewards. At this point, the blood vessels in your body that became damaged and constricted begin to expand again, further reducing the risk of blood clots and deadly strokes. One of the biggest dangers cigarettes pose for your health is the increased risk of developing lung cancer. When you make it to 10 years without cigarettes, your decade of hard work and perseverance is rewarded with a 50% decrease in the likelihood that you will develop lung cancer. This is a massive milestone for anyone who has ever been addicted to cigarettes. Finally, when you reach your 20th cigarette-free year, your body will have effectively erased most, if not all, threats associated with smoking. Your chances of developing smoking-related cancers, lung disease, and high blood pressure, just to name a few, have reached the levels of those who have never smoked in their lives. Addiction is a disease of its own. No matter how hard it may be to beat, the benefits of quitting cigarettes will absolutely always outweigh the positives you may try to convince yourself of. The science is in. Put the cigarettes out.